double trouble, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. If you don't think this is strong, it burned the end off my spoon. On today's program, we're going to explore, as we begin a new series, the occult. And you're going to meet a real live witch. Stay with us. Our series, The Occult and the Unknown, begins today as we find out about white witchcraft. Today we began a series that will last for several days where we're going to be talking with some different people from different kinds of the occult. And one of the things that you are going to discover as you meet these people is that some of the things which we do in our everyday life that we think are normal are really things that we got from vampires, really things that we got from witchcraft. And today, to open this series, we have someone we want you to welcome right now. She's from a tiny island off the coast of Honduras in Latin America. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome, please, a real live witch to our show, Gay Darlene Bedar. And here she is. Hello, how are you, Gay? Hello. First time I've ever heard a witch. <laughs> Gay, is it true that you're from Latin America? Yes, I'm born from uh, a family of witches and pirates and missionaries, combination. But you have no accent at all. You should speak Spanish. I do, fluently. Sí, puedo hablar español si quieres hacer la entrevista en español. Pero, however... <laughs> I think I'll understand you better in English. In English. I was educated in the United States. Had I stayed in Honduras by the age of 14, possibly I would have been pregnant and toothless. Bad nutrition. However, as a witch, believe me, I am living testimony to the fact that love sorcery works because I was born barefoot in a very, very poor family, absolutely starved out, wretched, wretched, really, circumstances. And through witchcraft, particularly love sorcery, mm -hmm. um, our family, who were largely female, got us out keeping their honor intact. <laughs> You don't look like I thought you would look. I thought you would come in in a black outfit. I thought you'd be a little heavy. I thought perhaps you'd be uh, certainly a little older. <clears throat> in this country, we kind of sought all the witches out and burned them at the stake a long time ago. Uh, witchcraft in this country is not all that popular. Well, you see, how many married ladies are there here in this audience? Let's see, most of them. All right. If you went through a marriage ceremony wearing a veil, mm -hmm. Uh, having people throw rice at you and yes. so on and so forth. That is a witchcraft ceremony. It's an ancient fertility cult. What have, do you throw the rice for? Uh, you throw the rice because you invoke the favor of the spirits. You wear the, the white uh, wedding veil to ward off the evil spirits mm -hmm. and the evil eye. And uh, that wedding band is related to solar worship. But I think most people think of witches as people who are uh, a little different, that they, they have uh, been born with the ability maybe to have more ESP, oh, uh, the wow. potions you can mix up and that you can uh, cure this and the pins and the dolls. Witchcraft is, in your opinion, a science? It's an art. Uh -huh. Not and a it, science. No, absolutely not. And anyone who tells you that is trying to obviously extort from you some kind of power or money. And incidentally, I'm totally against people paying money for witchcraft, especially love sorcery. I write a column which is syndicated in Latin America, and the reason I write the column is to educate people how to be their own witch, to educate people to the idea that we all have these powers. You, for example, mm -hmm. that marvelous hair of yours, you are in that intense gaze. First of all, he is a warlock. Secondly, a very great warlock. I bet I would have to look at his big toe to really... <laughs> well, let's get right on down to it. You, you, what would you tell by my big toe? Well, I could tell you many things. Would you like to show me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost afraid to find out. Oh, come on. Let me, let me take... Uh, how many people would like me to take a peek? One peek at his big toe. <laughs> One peek at my big toe? Uh -huh. Now, you know, I got really ugly feet. <laughs> <laughs> what 
but but you see, you know, the larger the foot, yeah, the more potent the male. Oh, <laughs> I used to wear a 10D. Now I wear a 12 double E. <laughs> you mean is that true? Oh, absolutely. Big feet mean. And the big toe. Yeah. This is uh, this. What, oh, what's I tell you? Look at. Well, first of all, we have to purify any evil spirits. Yeah. You know, we yeah. do. What does that tell you about? Oh, God, look, you know, he has a temper underneath it all. And here, this is the test. <laughs> they don't smell bad, do they? Delicious. They smell delicious. delicious. You're going to eat my foot? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, what does that tell you, darling? Well, first of all, you know, first of all, you are very potent. You could populate a village overnight. <laughs> now, the reason... Lord knows I've tried, yes. <laughs> the reason... Yes. The reason this... Uh, incidentally, I'm bewitching you gently here as uh -huh. I'm doing this. Uh, the reason, uh, you see, discovering a man's sexual power becomes very important is because the greater the lover, yes. the more potent. You see, what is the relationship between love and sorcery? It's very simple. Love is dedicated to fertility, continuing the race, continuing beauty and yes. progress, and so is sorcery. So transcendental love you are capable of that like no other am i really oh god <laughs> you lucky women out there you see him every day <laughs> now with this spell the lady says i'm eating it up <laughs> with, <laughs> with this spell now macho man my right, girls <laughs> do this do this every night you mean put flowers between your toes uh, yes and i guarantee you will pleasure the woman, a lucky woman, <laughs> of your life to such an extent that she will be enslaved to you. Incidentally, men in the audience, if you ever want to, if you ever have a wife that runs around on you, just do this one love spell. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did a love spell on me? Yes, of course. Well, I got to finish the show. <laughs> <laughs> in a rather unusual way, perhaps. Yeah, right. It's known as up your ratings. I can see that right now. Look at the sight of this. Will you take a look at this? <laughs> and, incidentally... <laughs> to bewitch your shoe, uh -huh. a woman who wants to keep a man faithful... You mm -hmm. know, there are a lot of runaround men, you know? Yes. Ladies, this is the way you do it. Yeah. Just into the shoe. Like, like lift that. your finger and wipe it around your the shoe. Your saliva around the shoe and around the soul. So if he's tempted to... Yes, he will always follow you wherever you are. You might get tired of it, but he'll follow you. He'll be faithful. I guess if you want to, is there something? Now, that's if you want him around. What if you want to play around? What do you do then? A you little vinegar. A little vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> because while you're, while the woman is playing around, you want to make sure the man is faithful at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, no double standard here. So. You know, everybody's going to think this is an act that you got, we got you from Central Casting, and you got that act, you got that outfit from uh, some costume place, and they're going to think this is all a bunch of... Uh, but my foot feels weird. It feels good. Oh, yeah. And it keeps pointing over there to the other side of the studio. I don't know what that's all about either. Well, just follow the path, and I guarantee transcendental sexual pleasure of such magnitude that you possibly may discover yeah. that you have talents beyond your expectations. Oh. Oh. <laughs> your hair is wavy for a reason. Yeah, because my head's hard and it has to screw its way out, yes. <laughs> why, why is my hair wavy? Well, wavy hair mm -hmm. in a man, first of all, plentiful hair like yours. Yes. May I just oh, mess yes. it up a little? You just want to see <gasps> and the strength, real. potency, yeah. but, but virility, fertile imagination. This is the type of man who's very prolific and a super achiever. And we have God in heaven. We have a man here. Why'd you say God in heaven? What's what? Well, you you essentially are pure of soul. You see, you're brilliant of mind, but pure of soul as well. What a combination, sexual and pure. Now you probably understand why I got her here. You see, I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to hear that. Now you're really a witch. This is not a bunch. I mean, they didn't. They're not kidding me, too, are they? I am the top love witch of the world, and my column attests to that. I get millions of fan letters. I mean, mm -hmm. I get such weird problems from people. What do they write? 
oh, well, this month, for example, I'm, the, I'm pondering over yes. how to prescribe some love sorcery for a woman who's 50, who's fallen in love with her 25-year-old son-in-law, and they have consummated it at Christmas, when they're both a little tipsy. Yeah. And what she wants to do is a spell on how to get him. <laughs> well, you mean they've consummated, but she doesn't really have him? Well, she, well he, she's written him three notes, uh -huh. and he ignores them. You know, he's playing hard to get, I guess. Knowing the Latin American male, he's really priming her. But what could you do to her that would make her appealing to a 25-year-old? Well, evidently she knew what to do all on her own. The problem now is... She came to do it again. To get, to get rid of the daughter. <laughs> the daughter, her, her, her daughter is married to him. I mean, you ask me for weird problems, <laughs> I'm telling She's you. She's in love with her son-in-law? That's right, and they have, well, Fedra. It's not an unusual Who's thing. Who's Fedra? Oh, Fedra, the Greek, uh, the great Greek witch who mm -hmm. fell in love with Hippolytus, you yeah. know, a man much younger than herself. And then there was Oedipus. Oh, yes, that's true. So you see, the tradition of the older woman, younger man, and family and so forth, that's not unusual. We'll be back in two minutes because <laughs> gay Darlene Vidar, the world's greatest love witch, is going to show you how to mix up a potion to enslave your man. Do not go away. Because it's witchcraft.